Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to move graphs of polar equations around in the plane. So suppose we want to move the graph of r equals 2 plus 3 cosine theta. So this is a limousine with an inner loop that looks a little like this, and the two loops crisscross at the origin. Okay, so suppose I want the two loops here to crisscross when um, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 3. The first thing that I have to do, so I'm going to show you how to do this in Desmos. So the first thing that I have to do is I have to parameterize this polar curve. Okay, so I want to say what is the x-coordinate of each point and what is the y-coordinate of each point depending on the angle. So to do that, we use our familiar polar two rectangular equations, which says that the x-coordinate of any point is equal to the r value times the cosine of the angle, and the y-coordinate is equal to the r value times the sine of the angle. So to get these parametric equations, in place of each of these r's, we're going to put our equation 2 plus 3 cosine of theta. So the x-coordinate of each point will be 2 plus 3 cosine of theta times cosine of theta, and the y-coordinate will be we take the r value, which is 2 plus 3 cosine theta. And then we're going to multiply the y by the sine of the theta. So then as we let theta vary, we get an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. And these two here together would give us the graph of this limousin with the inner loop. Okay, But so far we haven't done any shifting around. So if I want it to move so that this um, point right here, instead of being at the origin, is at the point where x is 2 and y is negative 3, then I'm going to take this x-coordinate and add 2 to it, and I'm going to take this y-coordinate and add negative 3 to it, or subtract 3 from it. So the equations that I will use, again parametric equations, to get the graph of this, where this crisscross happens at 2, negative 3, I'm going to use the following two equations. x equals this, r cosine theta, and it's all, the x is always going to be times cosine theta, and I'm going to add the 2 where I want my new x-coordinate of this point to be, and the y-coordinate that I'm going to use, or the, the, um, the y-parametric equation, So I take my r value, and I multiply by the sine of theta, and then I'm going to subtract 3 from that. Okay, so if I were to graph these two parametric equations, then um, I would get this limousin with inner loop shifted around. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how, how you have to enter in Desmos. Okay, so to get Desmos to recognize this as two parametric equations, we have to use t in place of theta. So when we enter in Desmos, we're going to enter it as, for the x, so we use a parenthesis, and I'm going to put my x-coordinate in. But I have to use t in place of theta. So, And for my y, Oops, I don't write y equals. I just put the coordinate. And then Desmos will have a little thing down at the bottom. And so if you want the entire limousin, you will go from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so let's uh, recap here. So to shift around my polar curve, r equals 2 plus 3 cosine theta. First, I parameterize it using the rectangular um, conversion formulas to go from polar to rectangular. And then once I have my, my parametric equations, then I can just add whatever to the x that I want the x um, shift to be by, and same for the y. And then this is how we enter into Desmos. 
And so this is what your final product would look like in Desmos. So here um, is what we entered. And this point right here is the point two, negative three.